everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video and today guys I'm going to repaint one of the most anticipated dolls of this year she's actually the biggest star of 2023 and of course I'm talking about Margot Robbie as the new Barbie I really love when Mattel releases new dolls whose faces are sculpted like real uh, I don't know actors characters musicians and so forth because it's really interesting for me working on this kinds of dolls so of course that's why I couldn't miss this release and today we're going to repaint this beautiful Barbie doll I've chosen this one in the cowboy outfit because I really love the outfit and I especially love the hat but I want to, to make like different looks of this Barbie I want to recreate a couple of different looks from the movie and that's why my mom has created also another outfit for her and there will be also some other surprises in this video and also in the next video I will give no spoilers yet but please <laughs> keep watching it's gonna be quite exciting so guys let's unbox this doll let's see how she looks from close and then let's remove her face and give her a completely new face it's gonna be very exciting of course please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and of course support my art here on YouTube with your likes and also subscribe to my Instagram I've been very active there lately really having fun in my story so and this being said let's start the transformation So this is the doll and to be honest guys I'm the most impressed by the crunchiness of her hair. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in my almost seven years career on YouTube. Really, simply listen to it, really, just listen to it. It's like wood, I don't know, and why? It's an easy style in just some Hollywood locks. Why do you need to do this? I don't know, really, some $5 bikini Barbies have their hair in a better condition, I swear you, this is ridiculous. But anyway, this is solvable, and for the rest, everything looks good to me now. The hat, the outfit, the boots, the face. So now I'm going to undress her, disconnect the head from the body, remove her face with pure acetone and then we'll start the transformation. Okay, the face is gone, so now it's time to seal it with Mr. Super Clear sealant to make this rubber surface more paper-like and to be able to protect the layers of my work. And then I can start drawing.
but by the way, I have just noticed that there is a problem with her nostrils. <laughs> you can see how bad cut one of them is. Like, these nostrils are completely asymmetrical, so I will have to solve it as well. And in general, you know, this face mold kind of looks like Margot Robbie, but not completely, because it's, for example, not her smile, it's not her shape of her lips. She has, like, a different shape, but I will try to do my best today. For the face, I think she looks already really good to me, so now let's quickly blush her body and then we'll move on with this project. There are still lots of things to make. Oh, and by the way, I've just noticed, I don't know, somehow I neglected it, but this is not a made-to-move body. This is a regular Barbie body with these bendable knees and bendable elbows. And Ken's body is exactly the same. So this whole release <laughs> it really starts screaming cash grab pretty loud to me. Uh, yeah, you know, and we will still talk about Ken in the next episode, next week Friday, because this is simply a joke. But anyway, let's just keep working. So guys, this is done and you know, I don't really know what to do next. Should I show you the outfit that my mom made or should I solve her messy hair first? I'm sitting here kind of doubting what to do first. Mm, you know what? I will probably wash her hair with warm soapy water right now to remove all this glue. And then while her hair is drying in real time, I will show you the outfit. So, 
me and my mom decided to recreate this look because it's extremely cute and there is no official Margot Robbie Barbie in this outfit if I'm not mistaken, at least I haven't found it. Uh, this French beret is just my love, really, I think it's absolutely adorable, so I've asked my mom to recreate this look. We haven't seen the movie yet, obviously, so the whole look uh, has been based on this one screenshot from the trailer. And this is what my mom has made, so check it out, everything is in a super cute packaging as usually. And this is the outfit, guys. The top was really difficult to make because of this collar being shaped as a flower. It's very unusual, but my mom has obviously slayed it, I think it all looks really good. Uh, then there is a skirt made out of natural silk. And of course, here is also this adorable pink French beret, it's just a masterpiece, it's my favorite today. And this is, by the way, a quick tutorial from my mom on how she made this French beret for my doll. And by the way, thank you guys so much for subscribing to my mom's Instagram, she's absolutely delighted about it, she really loves your attention and she promised to show you new updates of her work every week. Here is her Instagram, by the way, if you're not subscribed yet, and this is my Instagram as well, I've been very active there lately, so subscribe to both. So, and the beret, as you can see, was created in a felting technique, my mom is spreading wool around a piece of bubble wrap, make it all wet with soapy water and then she's felting it to make all these fibers connect together with each other. It's quite a long process but the result is absolutely amazing. So guys, this is an adorable outfit, but I still want to change or rather like to add something to it because if you can see on the screenshot, Barbie's skirt has been made out of this iridescent fabric. My mom couldn't find it in Belarus, it simply doesn't exist there, everything iridescent is forbidden by the law. So she made it out of pink silk. But I could buy a piece of a very similar majestic fabric here in Belgium and now I want to make a simple skirt to go on top of my mom's skirt to create this iridescent effect.
I think it looks good, yes. The outfit looks absolutely perfect now. So now it's finally time to take care of her hair because we cannot put this beautiful hat on this messy hair. So I will first kind of blow dry it to make her hair straight and pretty. And then I will braid it and I will add a pink bow. Perfect, yes. Now let's put the pink French beret on it. Absolutely beautiful, <laughs> so cute, uh, really adorable. So now let's apply gloss to her eyes and lips and we are almost done with the doll itself, but we are not done with the project yet. Oh, and by the way, our Barbie still needs this iconic pink Barbie slippers. Here I found an absolutely ideal pair. I just need to add pink pom-poms to the front. But these pom-poms that I have here are slightly too big for the slippers, so I will trim them a little bit and then I will attach them to the shoes. <laughs> And this is absolutely ideal, really perfect, I'm absolutely happy. And now guys, welcome to the new episode of Pimp My Ride here on my channel and today we will paint this regular Barbie car to look at least slightly like Barbie's Corvette from the movie. By the way, I didn't expect this car to come with the doll, so let's remove the doll and then I will also remove the stickers from the seats. Warming the stickers up with the hair dryer, by the way, will make the removal much easier. It's like a tiny life hack if you don't know it. And now I need to first sand the entire car with nail buffers, then I will cover it with a primer and then I will paint it with light pink and white acrylics.
so this is the finished car and I think it really gives the right vibes and it will look really good on pictures and by the way speaking of pictures let's take a look at them right now so this is my final version of Margot Robbie's Barbie and you know I really think that she looks like Margot right now the original doll looks just like some generic Barbie on this before and after pictures my mom has done a great job, as usually, with this outfit. The beret looks like a dream on this doll, so pretty, I'm really obsessed with this. And the car also looks really good on pictures, it really completes the sphere, completes the look, I'm very happy about it. Everything worked exactly like I wanted, so really happy about this project. Now I just need to watch the movie next week to see if I got everything correctly. Hopefully yes. And are you going to watch the new Barbie movie, guys? Probably yes, I guess, if you're watching this video right now. Honestly, I'm so excited about it and I love it so much that they dress Margot as Barbie. Like Barbie's classic looks for different events of this movie promo campaign. Really adore it. So and now guys, I'm really looking forward to hearing your opinion about this makeover, what do you think about it? And I would also really appreciate it if you could share this video anywhere, like on any social media, and tag the movie and Margot in it. It would be absolutely amazing if someone from the team could see it. I know it's a little bit unrealistic expectations, but yeah, who knows guys, who knows? And this doll is available for sale on eBay right now for three days like always, so please check Check out the link in the description box under this video if you're interested in this doll. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please guys, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you in the next video. That will actually be kind of part two of this project. So stay tuned. See you next week, Friday. Love you guys. Bye.